Hello everybody and welcome back to Simple Smart YouTube page. Today we are gonna clarify something about the contrangle, the micromotor and the high-speed turbine because there is a bit of confusion in the dentistry field about these M pieces. So let's say that the turbine is called also high speed and the micromotor is called also low speed. The main difference between the micromotor and the high speed turbine is the speed, as it say the, the word itself. So the high speed turbine, it run about uh, 400,000 runs per minute, while the micromotor is from 5,000 to 40,000 maximum runs per minute. The high speed turbine is connected directly to the cordon, so it has a fast coupler and it doesn't need any electronic component. So there is a compressor, there is the pedal that gives the power and the high speed turbine just start working. While the micromotor, well, we have a difference between a pneumatic micromotor and electric micromotor that we're going to see, but basically the electric micromotor needs other components inside the dental chair that are electronic boards that control the speed. So you can use the pedal to control the micromotor, of course, but inside the chair we need electronics, a different cordon and other equipment to let the micromotor work. So basically the high-speed turbine is a M piece, that is this one exactly, that is connected directly to the fast coupler, that is this one, it can have a light or without light, so the connection is fast, that's why it's called fast coupler as well. And the fast coupler is connected to the cordon straight away, so we don't have any electronics, as I said, but the connection is like this, uh, very easy and you can connect more than one high-speed turbine in a dental chair, so it depends uh, how is the configuration of the dental unit, but basically we have we can have two high-speed turbine and one micromotor or two micromotors and one high-speed turbine. The high-speed turbine has a, can have a, a water supply, normally it has, because we need to uh, cool down the, the bird that we have inside here and also it can have the light or not. Um, it's clear that if the high-speed turbine has the light here but the fast coupler it doesn't have the light so we cannot get the light here and at the same time we need the light in the cordon so the fiber optic that provide the light when you choose a high speed turbine you must choose also a um, fast coupler and there are different brands so for example we are using in our dental chair tkd high speed turbine that is a made in italy brand and at the same time we are using its fast coupler that is compatible with Cavo uh, high speed turbine, but you can have also NSK or BNR fast coupler and high speed turbine. So these two components that join together must be compatible each other. While the fast coupler and the cordon, they are always in a Midwest connection. So you don't need any compati compatibility with the brands, but you can just connect to any cordons, any dental chair. So let's talk now about the micromotor. There are, as I said before, two types of micromotors. One is pneumatic and the other one is electric. The pneumatic micromotor is, it works as the high-speed turbine. So you can connect directly to the cordon and you don't need any other electronic components to let run the micromotor. In the micromotor, you can connect the contrangle, that is this one, is completely different comparing a high-speed turbine, even if the shape looks the same, but is, is not, is a, is a different um, M piece. And it goes inside the micromotor in this way. Cordon, micromotor and contrangle. The electronic micromotor is a different stuff because we need to install the cordon and the electronic components, as I said and the speed of the micro electric micromotor comparing the pneumatic micromotor is quite different because with the pneumatic one we can arrive until 20,000 rpm while the electric micromotor can arrive until 4,000 rpm. In the micromotor you can install different kind of contrangle so uh, we have three main different contrangle one is the 
one to one, it means then the speed of the micro motor is transferred at the same time on the contra angle, so with the same speed range. So one to one, it means that if the micro motor is running to 30,000 RPM per minute, so also the contra angle will get 35 RPM per minute. The one-to-one contrangle is also called blue ring because of uh, this circle that is blue. Otherwise, we have the contrangle that is red, one to five. So it's a um, multiplier of the speed of the micro motor. So if the micro motor is going to 40,000, the contrangle is going to 200,000 RPM. Uh, so it goes very close to the speed of the high-speed turbine, but with a completely different control, different torque, and uh, is, is a different end piece, actually. There are different brands of contrangles. Uh, we normally use W and H or TKD from Italy, uh, but all of them can be attached to the micromotor. So this part of the micro motor is standard for all brands. You can attach here WH and BNR, TKD, NSK or Cavo, Sirona. Every brand can go and can be compatible with the micro motor that we are providing. I really hope that you have a better idea of what is it a micro motor, a pneumatic one or an electric one and an high speed turbine. So in case you need more information or you want to discover more about our dental chair, our components and what we install, don't forget to follow us here on YouTube or have a look to our webpage www.simplesmart.it. Thank you for watching.